All right, now I'm at the point where I've finished using watercolor pencil just to apply the color to both of my drawings. Um, and now I'm gonna take just water, just plain water, and um, apply it very, very carefully to the different sections of color on both of my images. Um, really be aware of you know color mixing. When you're applying the water on here, you might wanna skip around different parts of your image so that colors don't bleed together. So for example, this boat right here, you know, it's I colored it uh, brown and yellow, and then the shirts of the people in it, I colored them orange. So, and then, you know, I have blue water right around there. So instead of doing the boat and then the blue water right after that, if I did that, those two colors, they're gonna blend together, and I don't really want brown in the water. So I'm gonna maybe paint the boat with just water uh, you know, blend that, blend those colors together, let that dry. While that's drying, maybe I'll work on, you know, this mountain up here, and then go, once the boat's dry, go back to the water, then maybe I'll hop up to the sky, you know, making sure that this mountain is completely dry before I do that, because I have pink in the sky right here, and I don't want pink on my mountain necessarily. So again, you're gonna hop around, making sure that each area is dry. Um, I recommend that you get a paper towel so that if you end up getting too much water on your brush, you can get rid of a little bit of it by kind of just pushing it down on the paper towel. I am gonna use a really small brush. One of these would be really good. I have a few varieties I'll show you guys that you can use. Um, but like I said, a small brush so that you can really get in some of those details um, and take your time on this step. This step is my favorite because it's gonna make all your colors really pop. It's gonna make them really bright. So here we go. So I'm really controlling where the water is going. I'm not letting it just bleed anywhere on the paper. I'm just making sure that it goes exactly where I want it to go again, so that it's, you know, the colors stay where I intended them to go. And you know, this is part of your grade. It's like, are you really putting an effort to make this look nicer? Are you just kind of like slapping some water on there um, and you know, letting it do whatever and then having that affect your image. And that will definitely affect your grade. You know, it'll be pretty pretty obvious to me whether or not you were putting effort into trying to keep the colors in the right spots or not. You will want to rinse your brush in between colors because uh, the brush, the bristles will pick up some of the colors that you're using. So, you know, I was just using brown. I'm gonna go to a different section that doesn't have brown in it. So I just kind of gently tapped the brush off the bottom of the container and then press the bristles against the side and then um, onto the paper towel if I need to. Never, ever, ever do we tap like this because you're gonna splatter water all over ever, everybody at your table, not cool. So we're gonna bounce it off the side, press gently against the side of the container and then onto the paper towel, okay? Be in control of where the water is going at all times.